Hello everybody, it's Larry and welcome to 2 at 2. The clock's already started, so let's get going. I found this little jewel on Ancestry quite by accident, and it's Ancestry.com slash learn slash facts. And I'll put a link down in the description below. But in here it says, discover the meaning and the history behind your name. And you can do this for all the different names in your tree and find out. So let's do brown. And what it does is at first it tells the brown family history, uh, the origins, then it shows a map of where they were in distribution in 1840, 1888, and 1920 across the United States. And then it talks about what they did for a living. Now, you can sort this out by Canada and England as well. The Browns in the U.S., the women maid, cook, housekeeper, wife, the men, labor, farmer, salesman, truck driver. But the Browns in Canada, more farmers, and the ones in England, general labor. And unpaid domestic duties was the most common one in 1939. That's interesting. Unpaid domestic, unpaid domestic duties, housewife, and 2% were incapacitated. I probably don't want to know. All right, so <laughs> I come here as the passenger list and view all brown immigration records. That could be very handy. And if you have a unique name, like one of my branches is Van Hook, I can type that in here and get Van Hook and get all the census records for that particular name all in one area. And that can be helpful too, as well as the military records. Now, I did find the life expectancy for the Browns interesting. Look at World War II, right about the start. Average population, the general population was 42, Browns are 40. At the, towards the end of World War II, the average population age in the United States was only 35. But in 2003, it's up to 73, and now it's 72 and 74. And I hope to make that curve go up a little bit. We'll see how I do. Hope you enjoyed the tip.